I found 13 remote jobs that you can do at night, and most of them are going to be entry level, meaning you don't have to have a college degree or previous experience to get into them. And many of these are also going to be high paying. And the first one is going to be a donor support center coordinator. Now here is an opportunity for this one. I'll put it up on the screen. And by the way, if you're watching this like a few weeks after it's posted, chances are this opportunity is not gonna be available. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're the first one to be notified when a video drops. So this position is basically someone who manages support services for organ donors. And there are many nighttime related jobs in this position and it pays around $42,000 a year. You don't need a college degree. You don't need previous experience. You do need training, but typically it's going to be provided by the company that hires you. So overall, this is a pretty good one. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one is going to be a bilingual customer support representative. Now here is an opportunity for this one. I'll put it up on the screen. So I think everyone knows what this is. If people have some kind of problem with a product, they call into customer support. And in this particular case, you're going to be someone who speaks multiple languages. And in this position, you'd make about $48,000 a year, which is quite a bit more than the normal customer support representatives do. And you're going to have more options for different times of day to work, such as working at night. So this one definitely does not require a college degree or previous experience or certifications or anything like that. In fact, depending on the state you live in, many people end up getting jobs before they even turn 18. So this is a really good one, especially to start out. I think customer support representative jobs are super easy to land. So I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next one is going to be a data analyst. And this is one of the most common positions where you see people actually traveling internationally. So you see a lot of fully remote positions for data analysts. And with fully remote positions come nighttime offers as well. Now, by the way, here's an opportunity. And basically as a data analyst, you're going to be collecting, organizing, and making sense of massive amounts of data. Now, everyone basically argues about whether this this one requires a college degree or not, but the truth is many people get into it without a college degree or previous experience. However, you do need to know your stuff and you do need to have a good portfolio if you don't have a college degree or previous work experience. But with that being said, in this position, you make $80,000 a year and data related jobs are some of the most sought after. And there's a bunch of them where you can get over a hundred thousand, even over 200 or $300,000 a year. So this one is phenomenal. I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an S SQL support analyst. Here's an opportunity for this one. And this is a position that provides technical support and troubleshooting for SQL databases. And some also refer to this as SQL. And this is a programming language that's great for processing data. So in this position, you'd make about $79,000 a year. And it's another one of those where technically you don't need a college degree or previous experience, but you need to have a great portfolio. So I really like this one too. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a technical support specialist. And this is basically customer service, but for technical issues that typically have to do with software or hardware. Now here is an opportunity for this one. I'll put it up on the screen. You make around $55,000 a year with this one. So it's better than customer support when it comes to the pay. And it's another one you can land at the entry level. You don't need a college degree or previous experience, but you do need to know your stuff. So having a portfolio helps a lot. So this is another fantastic one. It's very similar to IT help desk. I'll give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a DevOps engineer. Here's an opportunity for this one. Now, this is kind of a combination of software development as well as IT. And basically what you do is you're going to help launch products, get them shipped as fast as possible, right? So there might be some sort of software that's in a prototype phase or a beta phase, and you want to get that software launched so that customers can actually use it as fast as humanly possible. And the reason why this is so important is because big companies, if they're able to do this a week before, or even just a few days before, this can save them millions of dollars. So it's an incredibly valuable skill. And companies, Companies hire all the time for this position for night shifts. And DevOps engineers make $123,000 a year. So a lot of the time, people who go into this do have college degrees, but you technically don't need one. However, in most cases, you are going to have to have some work experience to go into this. But yeah, this one is fantastic. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a data entry specialist. Now here is an opportunity for this one. I'll put it up on the screen. Now this is a position where it is relatively easy to get a remote job, but it's probably one of the worst ones. And the reason for that is because the pay is very low. It's very easy for someone else across the world to do the exact same job. So these types of positions are constantly getting outsourced and it is absolutely mind numbingly boring work. Oh, and did I also mention that you're not really learning all that many valuable skills from this and there's not that great of a career trajectory. Yeah, there's a lot to not like here and it also only pays about $40,000 a year. But with that being said, it is an entry level job. Uh, you don't need a college degree or previous experience to get into it. It is relatively easy to do as well. 
well. And you can do this one remotely and work the night shift. So definitely wouldn't do this one for a long period of time, but maybe if you have to do it for a short period of time just to make some money, this could be a good choice for you. But I'll give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is going to be an IT service desk lead. So basically you're gonna be overseeing other IT technical support professionals. Now, by the way, here's an opportunity. And for this, you're gonna make about $78,000 a year. So yeah, this is another one that's pretty good. It is a natural one to move into if you've worked in IT help desk. And by the way, I know I'm mentioning IT help desk quite a bit. I've actually interviewed several people on the channel that have gotten into IT help desk. One of them was able to get in in seven days and another one in 10 days. And they all did it with the company Course Careers. And Course Careers is a great company. My friend Josh is actually an instructor there. And he made a free masterclass, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below, which you can check out if you're interested in IT help desk. But yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be freelance writing. And I really have mixed feelings about this one because a lot of the time the niches and the types of writing that people try to do are not very profitable, right? It's tough to make a good amount of money. But with that being said, there are certain writing niches that are incredibly profitable and those tend to be the ones that nobody even thinks about. So for instance, I think YouTube script writing is one of the best niches you could be going into right now. I know lots of different YouTubers and almost all of them have trouble hiring good script writers. Now, by the way, here's an opportunity. So if you were able to get good at this skill, it would be incredibly valuable to these YouTubers that a lot of the time are making millions of dollars a year. But with that being said, freelance writers in general make about $51,000 a year. It doesn't require a college degree. If you want to get a good job, you're going to need some previous experience, but a lot of people just start off by freelancing. So overall, I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Uh, keep in mind, if you go for the less good writing jobs, this would be more like a seven out of 10. And if you go for the good ones, this could be up to a nine or a 9.5 out of 10. Next is going to be an English teacher. And this is actually an incredibly common job that people do when they have night shifts. And it makes sense because the rest of the world is up when the United States is asleep. And English teachers overall make about $50,000 a year. Now here is an opportunity for this one. I'll put it up on the screen. This is also a very common one that digital nomads do. And digital nomads are basically people that travel the world while usually working remote. So yeah, this one's pretty good. It has gotten a bit saturated. It's not as good as it used to be, but I'll still go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a medical transcriptionist. And there's a ton of medical related jobs that are pretty good when it comes to remote opportunities. And a lot of people never think of medical jobs like that. They think that you have to be in person to do a medical job. And that's just not true. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. I know I didn't say it with the last ones, but yeah, basically doctors are going to be dictating into either a phone or some kind of recording device. And then you are going to be transcribing what they say into medical records. And you're going to be doing it as fast as possible so that other medical professionals have that information. And in this position, you make about $62,000 a year. And this is an entry level role that does not require a college degree. However, it does require training, but usually the company will train you. This is a really good one. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a translator. Here's an opportunity for this one. And basically you're going to be converting either written or verbal content from one language to another. And translators make about $55,000 a year. Now it makes sense that this one would be a nighttime position because again, when the rest of the world is awake, the United States is asleep, but you still have to have translators to do global business. Now, many translators do have a degree, but you don't need to get it. At the end of the day, your work speaks for itself. So this one is pretty good. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And finally, let's talk about a really high paying one, which is accounting manager. Here's an opportunity for this one. And basically you're responsible for overseeing the financial operations and the accounting operations of a company. Accounting managers make about $94,000 a year. And these types of jobs are often available remote and often available at night. So this one does have a pretty big barrier to entry because you do have to have a degree, but overall I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, I made a great video about 17 work from home job companies that are always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.